Hello, welcome back. So we're going to go back into career mode and we are on day four of our new shop. We're making a bit of profit. We've fixed computers. We've gone through all the tutorials, I think. And we've also spray painted, done some case modding, water cooling, odd com new components. We've got our tablet from Uncle Tim, all those things that you see in the previous videos. So we're now on to day four in the newly renamed DPS Computing. And we've got a couple of jobs on today. So we've got customizing, paint the case green, don't customize the glass. And we've got an SSD to replace, which we did already yesterday. And I can see is delivered there. So let's collect our delivery first. So we've got SSD, fantastic. And um, which one should we do first? Let's do the SSD replacement then for our returning customer, G Orbin. Um, I, I like repairing the PCs at this one, to be honest. I don't know why. Um, right, so let's work on this. Install a new operating system. Custom needs you to replace a broken SSD, and this will also require installation of a new operating system. Let's get started. So we've not done this before. So let's remove. Oh, wait. We're removing this one, are we? Oh, okay. Ah, yes, we're going to have to go in this side, because I'm guessing this is the side that it's accessible from. Remove the broken SSD, so we've got to unplug it. Remove the SSD. Oh, unplug it first. Both the power and the data cable needs undoing. Uh, let's install storage. That's the broken one, so let's get the fixed new one. Let's get some cables going in for data and power. And then we need to boot the OS. Incomplete case. Aha, yes. So we need to replace... Oh, wait. We've done all the cables. Will those do anything else? What have we missed? What have we missed? Is there something else for us? Oh, it just wants us to put these cables in. Ops. That was a bit confusing. I would have thought it would have wanted us to put the case back on first. But to be fair, I like leaving it open in case you need to do any more changes. Um, let's install, yep, yeah, the side panel. It's wanting us to put that on now. So we'll pop that on. Pop the two screws back in. Fantastic. Now we need to install the operating system from the USB stick. Let's stick it in the top there. Power on the PC. It's going to say no operating system. Bootstrapping, formatting. Ah, it's doing it automatically because it's not got one. Fantastic. New OS installed. You have successfully replaced the broken SSD. Installed the operating system. The PC can now be returned to the customer. Fantastic. So we can exit from that. Let's exit from this as well and pick it up. And put it right back here. Right, and let's pick up the uh, DJ DJ computer. Yeah. Right, so paint the case green. Looks like a nice green, but they don't want to apply it to the glass, so we're going to do that. But make it big nozzle. Oh, that looks like a beautiful green. Beautiful green. You can still use the massive nozzle, um, as, as long as you've not got to apply it to glass, it will keep it away from the glass areas for you automatically, which is good. Front, got to do down here, haven't we? And then finally on this side, just using the right mouse button to swizz it around. Painted it green, fantastic. That looks beautiful. Let's pop that back in the delivery area and then we can collect our money. Let's have a look what the new days brought us. Emails. Right, accepted. So we've fixed that for Georbin. Let's collect the money. 210 profit from that. Very nice. Party time. Yes, mate. Collect that. 200 quid. $200. Fantastic. Oh, we've got a few jobs on there. New CPU needed. Matty Log. <laughs> Mr. Log. Hi. My computer has been behaving very erratically for the past few weeks. I've had boot errors, freezing, blue screens, and the mysterious occurrences. The exorcist I called in told me that it's probably a faulty CPU. 
Two new exorcists were also PC experts. I'm more likely to be in your field than his. If this is the case, could you please replace the CPU for me? Hopefully the holy water hasn't compounded damage. I did leave it next to the radiator to dry. Holy water. Holy moly, I can't believe you did that. So replace the CPU, we've got a $140 budget. So it's an AMD Ryzen quad core, 1300X. Let's add another one of those. Hopefully it's less than 140, 65. Oh wait, before we do that though, so we can assign it to the job. Let's accept the job and get a new CPU for it. And assign it to the job. Yes, confirm. Next day delivery. We'll buy it for $65. Fantastic. So we got that on the way. Graphics upgrade. Do you do upgrades? Only my best friend. Well, second best, but it's a long story. Just got a new GeForce GTX 970 and she's going on and on about how great it is while well, I'm stuck with this old thing. I wouldn't mind, but she does this every time she gets something new and it's so annoying. Like, okay, yes, we get it. You have far more frames per second, but that doesn't make up for the fact your team starts to carry you for every game. Have you not heard of playing the objective, Megan? Jesus. Megan. Love it. Anyway, I saved my pocket money and did some down work for my neighbours and I finally got enough to get my own GeForce GTX 970. I'm not fussed on what brand you use. It has to be Nvidia, surely. But that ought to shut her up for the while. Can you help? Install GeForce GTX 970 or better. We've got 650 budget. Alright, we can do that. Upgrading parts. Many customers actually upgrade components in their PCs. For the most part, you can do this by comparing details in the shop, but for graphics cards and GPS processors, it's worth, worth checking the parts ranking on your PC. It's happened to make sure that the part you have selected as an equivalent are higher rating than the one requested. So, on this, we can't simply say, add a new one of those. So, GeForce GTX 970 are better. Well, we've got a $650 budget. Where's the uh, part ranking? Actually, can we do a whole desktop change on this? Because this isn't working with the... Um... Working with this. Now we can actually see what we're looking at. Uh, part ranking, that's what we want. So, what did you want? Uh, GTX 970 or better. GTX 970. GTX 970. Okay. We've got a GTX 970 gamer there. Let's have a look in the uh, old shop. CPU, uh, no, GPUs. GTX 970 is there. 265. That's a new one. Interesting, we could spend a bit more. Get them double the RAM. Well, let's have a look. So, an R9, 290 greater, would be the best, 295. Definitely the best, isn't it, part ranking. Let's go for that, let's treat him, because they're giving us a $650 budget, so. Let's get the best one we can, and proper impressor. Buy it, we're going to... Confirm that for the graphics upgrade. Check out. Next day delivery. Treat her. Then she might come back for more. Email. New parts available. New parts available. Fantastic. So we've got those two that are in transit. And if we go to the calendar, we can just double check. We've got everything in order. So, Marty Log fix. And we've got the CPU to fix that, upgrade for the graphics card, and we've got that coming tomorrow, so that's fantastic. We've done all our jobs for today, we're getting pretty efficient at this, we're nearly up to level 3, which is really good. 
And we've done all our work for the day there. Which is fantastic! Shop still looks a mess, we're not going there. Fantastic! Right, so that's it. Oh, what, what can we do with that? Switch the lights on and off. Ooh. That's new. I don't think we had that in the beta. On off, on off, on off, on off. Right, no, okay. Right, we'll leave them on. No, we'll put them off. No, we'll leave them on. And uh, that's it for day four of our PC Building Simulator 2 career journey. So um, we're going to leave it there. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more PC Building Simulator 2 videos. And we shall see you shortly. Bye.